Greetings, Senator Levin. The Michigan Lighthouse Alliance Board of Directors wants to thank you for your many years of tireless service to the lighthouse community. The road or shipping lane has been long and at times frustrating, but one thing has kept a lot of us going on our path to ownership, restoration and maintenance of these historic icons to Michigan's maritime heritage. And that was you and your staff working tirelessly to achieve a number of legislative and administrative milestones that eventually provided the context we all live in today. The public are turning out in ever growing numbers to take tours and hear the stories of shipping and the role lighthouses played in guiding them to safe harbor or along their way to the next light up the shore, like pearls on a string. The list is long, but here are a few highlights of what you've helped accomplish over the years. You were a key member to the original Michigan Lighthouse Project, which became the Michigan Lighthouse Alliance and the Michigan Lighthouse Fund. You helped return the original Fresnel lens from old Mackinac Point Lighthouse to Mackinac State Historic Parks. You facilitate the transfer of Sheboygan Front Range Lighthouse to the Great Lakes Lighthouse Keepers Association. You led passage of the amendment to the GSA Modernization Act that made lighthouse preservation groups like ours eligible to receive surplus federal property. And finally, you were responsible for the creation and passage of the National Historic Lighthouse Preservation Act of 2000, significant legislation that enabled groups like ours to receive lighthouses from the federal government. I'd like to read a quote from you as that bill was passed. Michigan shores are home to more lighthouses than any other state. It is crucial, therefore, that we lead the way in converting our lighthouses from navigational necessities to beautiful monuments of our nation's past. Senator Levin, you've been a beacon for all of us who've worked hard to save these monuments. So it is fitting that you are the next recipient of the Michigan Lighthouse Alliance Beacon Award for outstanding service to the lighthouse community. I know our initial recipient, Dick Mole, our Alliance directors, and members in attendance at dinner tonight in Traverse City will join me in congratulating and thanking you for all you've done for us. Well, Buzz, first, thank you so much for the uh, tremendous honor of being selected as the second recipient of the Beacon Award. And more importantly, thank you and the Alliance for all that you do to preserve and protect our rich Great Lakes maritime heritage. As you know, for decades, uh, lighthouses have marked our shoreline. They have helped mariners navigate our often dangerous waters. They've protected our ports and harbors and they've provided identities to our coastal communities. However, as these structures have moved out of federal ownership and into the hands of individuals and groups, there's a great need to rehabilitate and restore these beacons. To date, in Michigan alone, there have been 29 lights transferred and protected under the National Historic Lighthouse Preservation Act, which I authored almost 14 years ago now. Nationwide, 103 lights have been conveyed, with 66 going at no cost to their selected stewards. And I've also had the privilege to work with you and your group and others uh, throughout the state in the Michigan Lighthouse Project, the Michigan Lighthouse Fund, and now the Michigan Lighthouse Alliance to ensure transfers like the Sheboygan Front Range Light and the return of the old, historic Mackinac Point light Fresnel lens. Many challenges remain, with federal programs being reduced or eliminated. Groups like yours are having a harder and harder time preserving these important historical buildings for future generations. Often the hard work is not in obtaining an historic light structure, but the costs associated with its maintenance and repair. What helps meet that challenge is the fact that your efforts are not only important from an historic preservation perspective, but also from one of economic development. Beginning with the initial investment of $3 million in the Federal Bicentennial Lighthouse Fund, 
Groups like yours have leveraged millions of additional dollars into your communities. From lighthouse cruises to tours and volunteer lighthouse keepers programs, you have found ways to bring resources and funds into your communities. In any event, we can't cut our way out of our budget problems without damaging the economic recovery. We need to add revenues as well as continue making carefully prioritized cuts. I've championed eliminating wasteful tax loopholes that have cost this country hundreds of billions of dollars in tax revenue. It's only if we have some additional revenue, which we can collect from closing these loopholes, that we can avoid more and more hurtful cuts to our federal programs. And that's why I'm continuing to work on fighting for sufficient funds for our maritime infrastructure, including our Great Lakes ports and harbors. And that's why I've introduced the Harbor Maintenance Act which would help increase funding to maintain our maritime infrastructure, including critical funds for dredging. Most recently, important components of this legislation were included in the Water Resources Development Act, which passed the Senate and is in conference now with the House of Representatives. And I look forward to completing work on this important legislation this year. Thank you again, Buzz, and the Michigan Lighthouse Alliance for this honor. It's a very, very beautiful replica of the Fresnel lens. Because of groups like yours, our iconic sentinels of the Great Lakes will long be reminders of the dangers and the glories of our Great Lakes heritage. So thank you all for what you do to protect and preserve our state's rich maritime heritage and thank you again for honoring me in this very special way.